Welcome to the Mindset by Design podcast with your host, the expert Andy Murphy, where you will learn the tips, tricks, and strategies he teaches his world-class clients to give you the skills to dominate any business. What's going on, Mindset by Design crew, and welcome to episode 245. Hope you're having an amazing week as always. Do you know what? This is the first episode of September. September, you know, and then I started thinking, September, damn, October, November, December. We haven't got long after the end of the year. Well, do you know what? It depends on your perception, right? It's so funny because people start to focus on Christmas and New Year and the holidays and everything and people start counting down the days. We've got four months. <laughs> Do you realize that, man? That's a long time. Literally everything in your life can change in an incredible, beautiful, amazing way. It's four months. That's a lot of months. And the thing is, we've got to be careful of where we focus because we can focus on counting those those days down. And guess what that means? Well, one, it takes a lot of our focus. And we can only focus on a handful of things consciously. That's just how the brain works. And if you're focusing on counting things down, it also means that we're, well, we're focusing on limiting, lack, loss. Do you know what I mean? And that creates a, definitely an emotional trigger in our brain that we don't want. That's going to create it. Well, it's going to activate the amygdala, right? It's going to start creating the wrong neurology. And we're trying to build the mind muscle forwards, right? So the thing is, four months. When we get to January, like next year, or even the start of this year, think about it. Everyone's like, yeah, we've got a whole year. January, oh, we've got loads of time. February, we've got loads of time. March, we got loads of time. April, we got loads of time, right? And you do. Four months at the start of the year <laughs> feels completely different to four months at the end. But for an entrepreneur, do we even care about Christmas? Well, yeah, we care about Christmas. We like that. We like to party. We like to have fun. We like to spend quality time with our family. And maybe you take a little bit of time off. But it's not like the regular world, right? Think about this. Why do you think the regular world is trained to count down days to Christmas and New Year? Yeah, it's society. Society is a business and it's training the culture to get ready to do what? Yes, yeah, spend lots of money, right? But as an entrepreneur, do we want to spend money or do we want to invest money? We want to invest it. We want to invest it into ourselves. We want to invest it into products. We want to invest it into... Yeah, growth in our business, advertising, marketing, whatever the heck you want to do, right? Upgrading your brain. That's what we want to invest in. So what happens as you start to value who you are, your vision, your dream, your experience, your mission? You give a lot less value or what's important to you, which is what a value is, to buying into the BS, right? We don't want to buy into the BS. We want to use that time where everybody's sleeping and we want to be driving forwards. And that's how we start a new year with a big surge of momentum, right? The people who win in January aren't really hanging out and taking the whole of December off. And if you are and you're able to do it, hey, you're a badass. And it probably means you've got your mindset by design pretty dialed in and you are then always sharpening your strong mind, right? Sound familiar? Maybe you're that person now, but maybe you're not, you know what I mean? And um, I know you're going to be kicking ass for the rest of the year and I really want to help you, you know, as you've probably gathered if you're a regular listener um, that I'm doing these podcasts a little bit differently, aren't I? Yeah, I'm not ranting and raving as much at the start. I'm actually getting into the meat and potatoes, as they say in the UK. And um, I don't even eat meat. But hey, you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I'm on a mission right now with a few, with a few different things that I really, really 
I know, drives me crazy. It's definitely the coaching industry and it's definitely the personal development industry that drives me nuts. And people just regurgitating the same crap without any absolute wisdom behind it. And people then, you know, get, get hurt. And it, it breaks my heart with the coaching industry over the past few years because it's brilliant that there's so much coaching and I, I love that. I really love it. But the truth is behind it all, it's most people are just not qualified. They've just got a big Instagram account. And they can't get results for you, but they can grow your Instagram account. And, and th- that's not change. That's not, <laughs> that's not wisdom. That's marketing 101, which is great, which is awesome. But then what happens is the knowledge isn't passed to that person of how to really help people. Like I've been doing this game for 17 years all over the world and it's, it's, it's radically changed. When I first started 12 years ago, uh, probably actually longer than that, 12 to 14 years ago, just in performance mindset. No one really knew it. There was Tony Robbins and a few more people, but that was it. And I really had to work hard to educate people about what coaching was and mentoring was. And it's brilliant that it's blown up in the past few years. But as I say, it's become really watered down and people just reading the odd book or or, um, focus on a very specific niche, which is great. But it's not great if... You can focus on that specific niche, get a person in front of you who absolutely needs support, like they need it, they've come to you. People charge a massive amount of price and then they don't offer any guarantees, no money backs, and and they really don't get them to the level that they thought they could because they believe it. But the level of the skill isn't there. And so that's one thing that's driving me crazy that I'm on a... I'm like an evangelist to go and solve this right now. And the other thing is, it's these people have been on a buying frenzy for years and buying all these different different courses. And courses are awesome. I've bought loads. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on courses and tens of thousands of dollars on mentors. And they're very important. But the truth is behind courses is most of them work. Do you know what I mean? They work. But most of the people aren't getting results. I don't know if that's you, but they're not getting results. And it, it, it genuinely just breaks my heart because someone's trusted someone. Someone's gone full in to help them and they've bought their course, they trust the person and they're just not getting results. And this could be network marketing, it could be Amazon, it could be Forex trading, it could be ad agencies, it could be consulting, it could be coaching. But the truth is, if your business isn't working, it's probably not your fault. And I mean that. It's just, we can have all the skill set in the world, but if you don't have the, the brain isn't built the right way, if your focus isn't on point, if you don't know how to step into a peak state like a laser, if you don't know how to change your focus, your internal dialogue, your emotions, if you don't know how to wire the visuals in your brain, and I don't just mean through guided meditation, no, I mean truly dropping brainwave frequency and remapping the neurological networks that are flooding through your brain, that are producing chemicals, if you don't know how to change that, which is your nervous system, then you've got to upskill. And that's, that's, that's the thing. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is I just don't want to see people get hurt. I don't want to see people get lose money. I want to see people just get results, kick ass, create a ripple effect through the world, man, so they can keep helping people. That's my point. Do you know what I mean? And I'm really sorry if I'm going on a little rant right now. I do apologize, especially if this is the first time that you're listening to Mindset by Design. Do you know? What we're here on about Mindset by Design is about building new behaviors, new ways of thinking, feeling, and acting using your linguistic program and NLP, which I'm a world-class expert at, neural retraining, which my systems, neuroscience, behavioral psychology, we're dealing with the conscious, unconscious mind, quantum physics, we're dealing with the universe and throwing in some spirituality. Whatever it is, is to create ultimate performance in your business. Why? So you can dominate it. Why? So you can live, be free and live a life that you want to live. Why? <laughs> because then you can help who you want to help. And that's all I care about. The truth is, I might not wake up tomorrow. So everybody I can help today create that ripple, a ripple of awesomeness, 
then that that's all I'm about. And so why I'm going on a rant is um, it's exactly that. The industry needs cleaning, cleaning up and... I'm sick and tired of people getting hurt and burnt in, in this industry. And I'm talking about the online industry or the creating the freedom industry or the social media industry. Do you know that business also gets done other ways? And do you know, do you know that it's not just about building funnels, right? But although funnels are pretty cool. But funnels are just an internet marketing concept that of a sales system that's been around for thousands of years, you know? You know when you walk past a cake shop or something or a, and they try and give you a bit of a cake, right? What do you think that is? Yeah, it activates something called the law of reciprocity. So you are then psychologically well compelled to give back to return and complete that transaction. So that's all funnels are. But anyway, anyway, lots of rants today, crew. Lots of rants. <laughs> So what's my point? What's my point? My point is I've got some training for you today and it's just giving you a little bit background of what you need to understand that's playing through your brain and really how to get control of it. Because if you understand these key components that really allow you to, yeah, to be in control of your mind, emotions, the, who you, the version of you, which is your peak state, then guess what? It means we can design how you perform in every area of your life. It's not like positive thinking, right? That drives me nuts again. It's another thing that drives me nuts today. Positive thinking should be left in the 90s, man. It, it's not relevant in this hyper fast world of intense pressure where everything's constantly moving and we've got to produce results. So what the training's about is giving you a little insight in some of the tactics that you need to really understand to become a world-class entrepreneur and a world-class version of you. Sound good? Awesome. Um, what else, what else, what else before we jump into that? Well, hit the show notes up. There's a ton of links in there. There's a ton of links in there. And um, I really hope you've been enjoying these interviews and these past these past episodes. There's so much knowledge in there. I definitely listen to them again. I really would. Share them with somebody. Write me a review. I really try and I just want to help as many people as I can so we can make life damn amazing. Sound good? Awesome. So hit the show notes up. I take on two clients per month. That's it. And um, you could be one of them, you know. So if you are interested in true, true mentorship, meaning the knowledge I've gained from working with royalty, billionaires, people running three, four hundred million dollar businesses. I'm a Forbes Coaches Council member. I've worked with tens of thousands of clients. Uh, I've worked with all the top people you can imagine, the top internet marketers, top network marketers, top traders in the world, and even someone who's just got an idea who wants to get going, and every level in between. If you want true mentorship, true results, then guess what? Let's have a chat, apply, and see if we can um, work together. That's links in there. Also, make sure that you are joining me in the, in the Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook incubator group, which is just a free group that we, yeah, I motivate, do trainings in there. It's badass. There's 3,000 people in there all waiting for you to join them. And um, I think that's about it. I'll shut up my ranting today. <laughs> I just went on a random one. But honestly, I've been thinking about this for days and it breaks my heart. So I just want to help everyone I can. And if you're one of them, I want to help you too. Okay. So let's jump into this. There's about an hour long, maybe just a little bit under. So get your notepad and pen. There's probably some awesome stuff in there. And if you've got an online business or trying to create freedom in any level, you've already got an existing system, then pay attention because this is for you. And um, I'll speak to you at the end of the show. Hey there, so you made it. Awesome, awesome. So this is gonna be a game changer for you. So let's go inside and then um, let's get this done for you. So you can start growing your business because I know there's a lot going on. I really do. And I also know a few things about you <laughs> and I haven't even met you. I know that you've been going through a lot of stress. I really do. I also know that you've probably had some sleepless nights 
procrastinate on stuff, told loads of people about that you're going to make this amazing business and you're just holding yourself back, right? So the thing you, what you've got to realize is you're not alone, <laughs> a little sweaty, you're not alone and it doesn't matter what level of entrepreneur or what business people are playing at, the same thing happens. The same thing happens. When we try to grow to the next level, you've got to have control of your mind. You've got to. You've got to have control. Because if you do, that's where we create massive results. So I'm just going to sit down on my laptop. And um, yeah, let's jump into the slides. So let's get into this. So how to get any online business to profit without changing anything about it. And I say not changing anything about it because... Well, you've already got the expert system. It works, right? But I know you got into building the business for a reason. And the reason is this. I know that you want freedom. We all do. And you're here for a reason. So keep paying attention because that's what I want for you. You came originally for freedom. You bought that business or that course for freedom. So let's get your freedom. So we want to make sure this is you <laughs> are you already building and launching or about to build an online business what about spent thousands of dollars already on someone's system and that's probably most of you watching this right it's probably you right now reading this it is so i also want you to make sure that you know the system you are building actually works and you trust that right so Maybe you're an expert at what you do and you want a true way to be in control of your focus, emotions, motivation, belief, and just get it done attitude. So is that you? <laughs> Good. Because this is what I want for you. Finally, get your business to, well, yeah, be profitable, make money, right? Why? Because again, that gives you freedom gives you freedom for your family, time, gives you freedom from your mind, but it also allows you to, well, be wherever you want to be in the world and help whoever you want to help even more. That's what money does. And so, guess what? Are you involved in any of these? Amazon, consulting, Forex, funnels, bucks, agencies, right? Facebook agencies, ad agencies, this agency. Are you involved in any of those things? Well, has it worked yet? It's a question I really want you to ask yourself. Has it worked yet? Not, is it going to work? Or I'm just getting going? Or all the excuses that you've been telling yourself. Has it worked yet? Well, or maybe you're in sales, or you're an expert, you're a coach in real estate, startups, finance, whatever you're doing online. I've got to ask you the same question. Are you still not getting the results that you want? Well, the truth you're in the right place. So keep listening to me because we're connecting already. So what we're going to cover today is why buying the latest and greatest business course, webinar, funnel, software, or tactic could leave you broken, spinning in circles. I don't know whether that's you right now. I've got no idea. But how our clients have stopped being stuck and blaming someone else's product and instead scaled their businesses, made more money, and created amazing results for themselves. And other people, because we're here for a reason, and it is really to help people. And um, if that's not you, then yeah, we'll keep listening because it should be you. And if it's not you, this might not be for you. So here's the other thing we're going to cover: why the online course you bought only works for the right person. And that's exactly what I was saying, right? It only works for the right person. And also, why neuroscience and psychological systems should be your best friend. They should be. I'm going to explain why in a few minutes, but it definitely should be. And the thing is, we're also going to cover the key systems to create constant motivation and drive. So what our clients do to move from feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and full of self-doubt to feeling confident, powerful, and getting results. And that's what we're going to cover today. Sound good? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Look, I'm going to give you the faster and more predictable ways to create a million dollar business using your current system without freaking out or changing anything about it. Sound good? Good. <laughs> so, you're going to see what 80% of your focus should actually be on and what seven and eight figure clients already do each day to get that level of success. 
So keep listening. It's better to walk alone than with a crowd going in the wrong direction. And that's what's happening in this industry, especially online. Everyone's just following, right? Everyone's looking for the next tactic and system. But the truth is, if you don't build you, if you don't build your brain, if you don't build what's automatically playing in your head, then none of this is going to work. And that's that's what the crowd is not understanding. But I know this is the next cutting edge thing because <laughs> it's what I've done for 17 years. So those who follow the crowd usually get lost in it. Think about that. There's so much content out there, but the truth is 80% of people are just spinning in circles. And I don't want you to be one of them. I want you to really create a win. Okay, so I'm also going to give you these performance keys to win. These are just four key strategies that I've learned along the way of um, really, well, the truth. I just know if you implement these in your business, then they're going to make a huge, huge difference. And it is the key strategies. And I'm going to get more into that a little bit later. Everything that I do is so different to probably what you're used to. This is zero fluff, zero <laughs> cheese. I'm giving you science-backed knowledge, tactics, tools, and they're all proven over 17 years. So we do something called neural retraining. That are my own special systems. And it's like the manual or the mechanics of the brain. We've got neuroscience, which I absolutely love because that's the mass and the evidence, okay? And then we've got something called gamification or gamified learning. This is how we teach you to learn real fast, right? It's, it's the language of the brain. So then we've got real world wisdom, as I said, about three times now, 17 years. And do you know what? It's, it's just the fluff and the cheese drives me crazy. And I really want to give you strategies and tactics from, well, from experience, right? So that means you get the fast track. I want to help you and show you with these formulas and systems how to move resistance and fear to confidence. How to move overwhelm to calm. How to move procrastination to laser focus. And how that small thinking or networks that you've been hanging out in or surrounding yourself with, how to just really create that high level thinking really fast. Would that be helpful? <laughs> Damn right it would be. So can you relate to any of this? Are you tired of working so hard but wake up with anxiety each morning? Right? You, you're not alone. You're not. But is that you? What about this? What about making, well, procrastination, right? Do you find yourself procrastinating? Start but rarely finish a project and spend more time beating yourself up than actually getting results. Is that you? Well, it's not just you. It's a lot of entrepreneurs. And remember, this is about creating results. And this was a big one for me back in the day. Sleeping. Or not sleeping. And not wanting to go to bed. As your mind is so busy with all the things that you have to do, right? That you just don't want to face the next day. And when you don't want to face the next day, what do you do? Yeah, Netflix goes on or something goes on just to distract you until you fall unconscious or pass out. And then you struggle to get to bed. And, you know, then anxiety starts in the morning. Sound familiar? What about self-sabotage? You know you can do it. And you keep getting pumped up and then you get results and you get so far down the track track but it seems to well you seem to just mess it up right at the finish line sound familiar i know it was for me what about money worries because all you can see if money is going down not money flowing in and you spend too much time stressing out then building out building that business instead you're worried about the bills you're worried about just watching the bank account go down can you relate to that what about a brain drain, as I call it? Flipping from confidence and belief to feeling of fear and stress. These things have to stop. They have to, right? But can you relate to them? Because it's not your fault. And I don't know whether anyone's told you that before, but it's, ju it's just not your fault that these things are happening to you. Because the thing is, you trust the system. You don't get results. And then you beat yourself up, right? Does that sound, sound like you? 
Well, the thing is, we all want or get shown this social media life. And it's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But what does it really mean? It's freedom. Isn't it? It's freedom. The social media life is freedom to do whatever you want. Yeah, you can buy this. You can get that. But you really, what it's about is just choices. So the real problem is this. The world has been flooded with courses, systems, and ways to make a life online. (laughs) Right? Especially over the past couple of years. The industry has been flooded. Social media has exploded. Instagram's shown you all the most beautiful things in the world that we go on. And we go, I want that. And you should want that because you deserve that but the truth well it's amazing it's amazing that all of these options are out there but it also means massive competition (laughs) doesn't it right it does it means massive competition and the thing is you probably believed how simple the steps were to launch this product or service or whatever you're doing You probably saw how easy it looked. Just follow this formula and you will be rich. (laughs) Well, you know what? It's, um, It's probably true. It is. It's probably true. Let me explain a little bit more about that because it's true. But... You might be discovering now that it's also an emotional roller coaster following that simple system, right? I mean, we've all been there and I could share a hundred stories of myself, but it's true. So because it's an emotional roller coaster, because you're going through all this stuff, does that mean you should hang up your gloves? Well, truthfully, you can. Lots of people do, but you can do something else. Or you can, um, well, let me show you why this becomes your super skill, your superpower. Remember this. Remember, the majority are having the same issue as you, right? So if you can fix it, if you can fix yourself, if we can tune your brain up, if we can get you past all of this old crap, then guess what? You're light years ahead of them very quickly. Does that make sense? Because everybody is doing the courses. Everyone's being the sheep. Everyone's following the the, the general theme of what's going on out there. But the truth is, they're not getting the results. And it's because of the way we think. It's our mindset. It's the neurology. It's your unconscious mind. It's the patterns that are in your brain. It's the software. I'm going to get into all of that in a minute. But does this make sense so far, you know? So if you can fix it, Well, you're light years ahead of everybody. Because this is why I say that. The how to live a social media life experts are the Amazons, the consulting, the coaching, the Forex, the funnels, the writing books, the ad agencies, and there's a lot more out there. But these are the big ones, right? So the thing is, the thing is, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. The thing is, they all work. They do. The systems are the best in the world. And they're showing you exactly how they became rich. That's how they get the social media life. Some of you might recognize this gentleman. I love this guy. I love this guy. And what he said about me was the single most powerful driving force. Okay? That's direct to me. And it's been a total lifesaver for me. As my business has been exploded, the added stress of managing its growth New staffing, maintaining a loving family and a healthy lifestyle has been much more of a struggle than I anticipated. Andy gets me grounded, brings my focus back to the most important things by putting matters in a proper perspective. The wonderful thing is he's not, it's not just surface level, but he gets to the core of the issues, gives you techniques and guidance to deal with them and help you emerge a better you. If you feel like the world is coming from all directions and you are spinning your wheels, not dealing with it nearly as effective as you should, you absolutely want to get Andy Murphy involved in your life. That's a real nice thing. And some of you might recognize this, but some of you might not. Well, this is Jason Katzenbach, um, the owner of Amazing.com. 
the owner of the amazing selling machine if you're involved in amazon in any way then this is the largest amazon training company in the world by far one of the biggest internet markets is in the world and you just have to do a little google search if you don't know who he is but that's coming from him and i was able to help him and i appreciate that so if we know the systems work because people like jason are showing you that they work then why is it not working for you? And um, why is it only working for a smaller percent of people? It's an amazing question, right? Because today, I'm going to answer that question. And you might have worked out by now, you've probably noticed that this might be something that's going to change your whole life. Because it, it really is. And I'm also going to show you a little later these performance keys to win. And I want to make sure that you understand them because you can go away today and apply them right now. Okay. And that's what we want you to win. <laughs> so with this formula, you're going to wake up each day and be calm, motivated and excited to get your business successful. And instead, well, guess what? We want to stop chasing those shiny objects, holding yourself back or having a resistance that just wastes time and days and it compounds. You know, does that make sense? And we want to stop that stress. The truth is, with this formula, you'll be able to control your emotions when the pressure comes. Why? Because it's got proven and tested tools that some of the best already use and thousands of others just like you use to grow their business the way that you imagined it could be, okay? So you will be able to switch on such laser focus on tasks. They'll get completed in hours and days instead of weeks and months and years like you've been doing. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, <laughs> right? And the best part is you can use these tactics to make the business system you've already bought become a success without changing anything about it. And I mean that. It's not the business system that we've got to upgrade. It's not the business systems that we've got to level up with. It's you. So we have to take responsibility. And some of you might know that guy. <laughs> it's a good picture. I love that picture. Tim Ferriss. Four-hour work week. You know, Tim Ferriss. Well, I love this quote. You can lose money and get it back. But you just can't do that with time. Makes sense, right? Think about all the time that you've been wasting spinning in circles with stress and overwhelm and excuses, right? So no more of that. You can get money again. Time, once it's gone, it's gone. So what if I was here to tell you that there was a, a smarter way, a more profitable and more impactful way of you building your business you always wanted? Would that be good? I thought you might say that. So I don't know if you know these two gentlemen. Ben Greenfield's on the right there. Mr. Joe Rogan is on the left. Joe Rogan runs the biggest podcast in the world, doing like 200 million downloads a month. Um, ben Greenfield's been voted one of the number one health and fitness guys in the world. And just an incredible guy. Well, he's been on the podcast. I've been on his, but I was also, I helped him out with a few things. And what Ben says is this, mindset is everything. If you've not worked hard on your mindset, when, then you will never be able to create consistency, belief, and acceleration in the most painful moments of pressure. If you want to create world-class motivation and mental performance, Andy is your man. So, love Ben, absolutely love Joe. So, the truth, I just want to help. And the only reason I would feel confident I can, no matter where you are in your business or the world or what level of business. Listen, I've either probably been through it or I've helped someone through it. I'm absolutely sure. And again, here's a little bit about me, but it's not about me today. It's about you. It really is. I mean, I'll tell you a story in a moment when I was 26 years old, putting together the Fiji Island Resorts. Um, these days, I work with everyone you can imagine, from the best in the world in, in every industry. Um, could be finance, could be internet marketing, network marketing, um, world champion athletes. I've worked with TV producers, royal family. I've worked with Hollywood actors, Hollywood producers. It just goes on and on. And the truth is, what I've found over the years is that 
we're all pretty similar. We've just got different flavors, right? The brain is very similar. And once you start to understand how to build it, how to take control of your mind, your emotions, then what happens is the results just start to flow. Makes sense? Good. <laughs> but this is where I'm originally from, Liverpool. Yeah, just, well, just outside Liverpool. But Liverpool. And two things we're famous and proud for. <laughs> the football team, who are kicking ass right now, and the Beatles, who are always kicking ass. And I've lived in a lots of different countries, six or seven different countries, a couple more than that are on there. It's Australia, Bali, California, New Zealand, obviously the UK, Panama, lot, lot, Florida, lots of different places, lots of different cities, lots of different, yeah, just the world. And the thing was, I left when I was 24 years old. I'm not going to go into this in a big story. It's all online if you want to check it out. But I was 24 years old, left. And very quickly became top performer in two of those countries in investment real estate sales. And at 26, 27 years old, I was top of my game in the countries and I saw an opportunity. And the opportunity was to take New Zealand and Australian real estate to Dubai. And what we ended up doing was getting with a business partner, much older gentleman than me. I trusted him. He was my best friend. He was a mentor. And... Um, well, this was the island that we put in together. And we went to the island. We were going to buy it. We took it over to Dubai. We were selling it down next to the Palms and Dubai land and the Burj Khalif, which is the tallest building in the world. And this is going back quite a few years ago right now. I'm getting older, right? But guess what happened? We came back. 2008 happened. Yeah, he ripped me off. He um, sent me into bankruptcy um, watched me go through a nervous breakdown, bought a boat on my money that he stole, and it, 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 was a, it was a bad time. But the truth is, it was the most amazing moment in my life because it, it, changed, it changed everything. It really, really changed everything. Because this is also a side of me, martial arts. I trained since I was nine years old. I was on the England squad when I was growing up in Krati. Um, I was an instructor, traveled all over the world. I've worked with so many professional fighters. I've um, had an MMA fight. It's, this was my life. And there's no violence there. It's just pure beauty, technique, art, strength, right? And I had to rely back on this because I put myself around the wrong people in New Zealand. So I wanted to make sure right now we level up. We put myself around the right people, the right brains, and this is what I did. I jumped on a plane and flew to LA. Long story, but this is what changed everything. And this is really what changed everything. Everything starts in your imagination. So I don't know what's looping around your brain right now, but it doesn't matter. Because I don't really care where you are right now. I don't really care that you're in a bad place. What I care about is what you do next. Because I've been without food. I've been without rent. I've lived in my car. It's whatever it takes to create the result that you want. And everything starts in your imagination. And so do you. Who you're going to become starts in here. Who you're going to become, yes, but also the business, the life, the dreams, the, everything starts in your imagination. So this is where it all changed. I fear not the man who has practiced the 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks, one kick 10,000 times. What does that mean? It means repetition. It means the basics. It means the foundation. We have to get good at controlling our brain. Make sense? Good. <laughs> I don't want you to do all of that pain that I've been through. It's not nice and it's not needed. I just didn't have a mentor around me to show me a different way. But you do now, okay? So you can become a success no matter what is going on in your life right now. It doesn't matter. As I say, I, can't, I, I, say I don't care, but I do care. But what I really care about is the next step, what you do next. So this is where everything changed for me because this is my game-changing discovery. And you might have heard it before, but just because something's common knowledge does not mean it's common practice. It really doesn't. So this is the 80-20 rule. Heard of it before? I'm sure you have. I'm sure you've heard of it before. 
but it's generally the opposite of what most people have been taught and definitely the opposite of what many of the people selling the business courses share. They're showing the next system, the next tactic. But the truth, the truth, you only 20% of your time should be spent growing the business. 80% of your time is fine-tuning and building your mindset. And you might be going, that's not true, Andy. If you just sit there and you just think about stuff, it doesn't just happen. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But let me explain. The Olympics. Well, think about it like this. What is the difference between someone winning a gold or coming eighth in the Olympics? Think about that, right? Is there massive more talent than someone who wins or comes eighth? Well, yeah, you've got some more natural abilities for sure. But no, they're in the Olympics. There's a reason, right? There's a reason they're in the Olympics. It's their beliefs. It's their motivation, right? And the list goes on and on and on. For you, it's your beliefs how fast or how much money you can make, right? It's the beliefs about the details and just getting things done. That's the difference because, listen, the truth, the absolute truth is once you have a certain level of knowledge, the difference is 100% the way you think. Does this make sense? It's 100% the way you think because you've got the business system you are following. You're following it, right? So the difference is now that creates the success is the way you think. Does that make sense? So mental performance habits and mindset habits are the things like I'm about to show you because people don't quite understand. They think it's all about positive thinking. No, it's it's definitely not. It's, well, that's a tiny like half a percent of it, but it's the routines you apply. It's the ability to come back after a hit. It's the vision of what's possible. It's the drive you have each day. It's the way you can hold focus for hours and hours and hours at a time. It's the creativity. It's the, it's the being able to control the self-talk, switch focus, right? It's the communication. All of these are what mindset is really about. The truth is everything, including today, now, is one decision away. One decision away. Because this is my life now after all of that chaos. That's me presenting to global entrepreneurs, all seven-figure earners in Bali. Um, that's me hiring out the W Hotel nightclub for an event. I put on a private event overlooked the New York skyline. It was pretty damn epic. That's me presenting in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, again, global entrepreneurs. And I'm a member of the Forbes Coaches Council. So the thing is, this is my life now. And I help world-class entrepreneurs dominate any business. Dominate any business. And I don't know if you know football or soccer <laughs> for you Americans out there, but that's Arsenal's, Arsenal's ground. That's one of the biggest football teams in the world. And um, yeah, I was showing them all about mindset. So here is a buddy of mine, Nick Onken. Um, Nick Onken is one of the top photographers in the world and and I love this guy. I helped him out a lot, you know. He works with people like Coca-Cola, celebrities like Justin Bieber, Jessica Alba, Usher, people like that. And the truth is, well, Andy has been able to help me create triggers to optimize my peak creative state, not only in work, but in my personal life. The more I fall, fall in love with neuroscience, the more I'm realizing how much can be used to take my life, creativity, and performance to the next level. Beyond his coaching, Andy is an all-around great human. He really cares about the well-being of his friends and clients. Cheers, Nick. But really, this is the truth. I'm not special. I'm really not special. I'm just a regular guy from Liverpool who went through chaos and back and won. So if I can do this, you can do this. Now, it's true. You can. And finally, get your business to win. Remember those four keys to win? Well, they're coming up. <laughs> they're coming up. I'm going to show you them in a minute. But what I want to show you now is this. The six discoveries of how to get your online business pumping without changing anything about it. And these are things that you probably won't have seen before. And if you have seen them, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad it makes my job easier. But just because things are common knowledge, 
doesn't mean the common practice, right? So let's jump into this because my first discovery, I think you're going to appreciate why you keep sabotaging and our emotional roller coaster and how this is destroying your money and business performance. Right, we'd want to know about that. But listen to what I'm about to say because I'm about to unlock and probably blow your mind with something. It's true because marketing myth, and maybe you've bought into it. Heard of that before? 21 or 90 days to form a new habit. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I'm here to tell you something. It's fake news. It's not true. It's not true. Let me explain. You might be going, whoa, Andy, I've bought a 90-day program. Okay, that's cool. I've bought a 21-day program. Every book I've read, the psychologist of every therapist have said 21 days, 90 days. Well, it's not true. And let me explain. Have you heard of the game Telephone before? You know? Psycho-Cybernetics, 30 million plus books sold old, since the 1970s. Maltz, brilliant guy. But what he stated was it takes a minimum yes a minimum of 21 days to form a new habit because 21 or 90 days well guess what it's a marketing thing it's easy to sell right 21 days i mean who wouldn't want to change their life in 21 days of course you would right so that's a really easy thing to sell Philippa Lely, health psychologist and researcher. Well, guess what? She published a study in the European Journal of Social Psychology, How Long to Form a New Habit. Well, it showed it took between 18 and 254 days to form a new habit. Is that a little different to 21 days? Yeah, of course it is. Now, can you form a new habit in 21 or 90 days? Yes, you can. But you see how longer, much longer it can take? Right. So, it takes an average of 66 days to form a new habit or a new version of you. So, my question to you is this. Have you been beating yourself up too soon? You know, because you might be getting pumped up. You might have read a book, watched a documentary, gone to a pump-up seminar for the weekend. But then, nothing changes. And that's a shame. Because this is not getting you what you want. Because what you've got to understand is this. The brain is like a muscle. Neurology, okay? That means every habit or behavior is different and therefore some need training more. If you've been around people who've got a negative experience of money, if you watched your parents just stressed and overwhelmed about money since you were a tiny little kid, then guess what, that muscle, that mind muscle, that neurology, that software in your brain, well, it's big, thick, and strong, and it's going to take a lot longer or more tools and techniques to change that habit around money, right? Makes sense? Of course it makes sense. So, look, if you train seven days in the gym, you're going to look very different from someone who goes every other week or every week. Big difference. So, The best are working on their mindset from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep, even in their sleep. And I'll show you a little bit more about that another time. But even in their sleep, they're reprogramming or tuning up their mind muscle. So my question, are you doing the 80-20 mindset rule? Or are you struggling and grinding? Because this was, as I say, one of the key things that changed my whole life. And so imagine, imagine if you could pump that mind muscle about your business. What belief could you change in the next 66 days? Just think about that for a moment. So my second discovery was this. Fear. Is it freezing you? And you might be going, Andy, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I just want to build this business. I get it. I I do understand what you're talking about. Because you might not be afraid. You're just having a fear response. Do you recognize the fear response? Stress, anxiety, overwhelm, doubting yourself, money control, not having time. All of these are a fear response. And we recognize it from this, right? The fight or flight response. So what have you been fighting? (laughs) Basically, what have you been doing to escape, sabotage yourself, right? 
this beating yourself up, all of these things. Well, they're sabotages and they're fighting. And it all comes from this part of your brain. It's called the amygdala. It's like an alarm system, bam, 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 right? When it thinks you're about to step into danger. Well, in the brain, danger is just the unknown. So what we want to do is build the mind muscle we want of who we want to become. That future you, that awesome you, that one who's already got the business and success that they, that they want. Not who we were. And if we keep doing what we've done, we're going to get more of what? Yeah, you got it. What we've already got. And you came here for a different reason. I'm going to make sure I keep showing you a different way now. Because Discovery 3 was this. Why you are not getting buyers or not completing projects. Do you want to know what that is? <laughs> I thought you might. Because the truth is here. Your brain is simply set to the wrong circuit and filter. Okay, let, what, the, what the heck does that mean? Let me explain. So, you have a, something in your brain called your RAS, your reticular activating system. And it literally is like a filter on you, the blinds of, of a window, you know, where you close them, the light doesn't come through. You turn them open, the light comes through. Well, this is the same with your, your brain. And it works just like Gmail. And what does Gmail have? You might not know, but it has a filter in it. So that's put you in the spam folder. It does all of these things, right? Well, your brain just works like that. And it really does. So what appears in your outside world or your business or your success or your conversations or your ideas, right, is what your filter system is set to and what version of you it's set to. The old you or the new you, right? The old you full of the doubt, the hesitation, the sabotage, the excuses, the procrastination, the anxiety, all of this stuff, right? Or the new you full of happiness and excitement and drive and passion and creativity. That's a different version. So my question has to be, which version have you been pumping and which version have you been allowing the filter to be set to? Because... Look, here's a real simple, silly example. You cannot find your keys. Can't find them anywhere. Search the whole house. <laughs> then they magically appear, right? Of course, they were there all the time. Your filter was not set to see them. This is the same when you see a car that you have never seen before, but you, you might have bought it <laughs> or you've gone to see it. What happens? The car appears everywhere. Same with food or restaurants. Same with music and bands. They just appear everywhere. Once we're aware of something, everything shifts. And everything that you want in life, business, success, happiness, all of this, is way over here. It's already there. It's just your filter in your brain isn't set to see it. So what would happen if this? We set, the set it to the flow of money. Laser like focus, confidence, believing you will win, getting the project into the world, right? Your speed of your results would explode. So discovery four, you're not getting the results because you can't see it working. And the amount of times I've had people come to me, I just can't see it happening. I just can't see it happening. <laughs> I get it, but this is why. People aren't telling you because you have to learn a new language. You do. And this new language is, well, you're probably aware of it. The language is of the unconscious or subconscious mind. And truthfully, this is your brain software. It's your brain software. It is. It's like your operating system, right? So the language is visuals. It's visualization. But I don't just mean, oh, imagine this. No, it's a there's in such an in-depth science to visualization, but we're talking about the language is actual visuals. So why does visual rehearsal work? Well, let's look at a military study. Expert marksmen were wired to biofeedback machines. The components were tested, heart rate, skin, and blood flow, and basically had two groups. One visualized only, no physical firing. The others only physical fired, right? 
The mental rehearsal only group was proven to provide extremely close biofeedback results. So basically they were just imagining firing and the stimulus, the nervous system, the blood flow, the neurology all connected and actually made them perform a certain way without even picking up a gun. Okay, so once you start to understand this, you have to start asking yourself a question. Think about what you are really thinking about inside of your business. How would it affect your performance? If you're focused on the past or the, the losses or the lack, that is what's being built in your brain. If we're focused on your business becoming successful, you being a certain version of you, that's what happens in your brain. <laughs> Makes sense? Good. So, would this help? Seeing the exact outcome that you want in every conversation and scenario. What about having so much confidence and belief in the goal that the negativity bounces off you? Or making a decision from passion and purpose about getting your business into the future, right? And that's what keeps driving you forwards instead of pain, right? We want pleasure, passion, and purpose. Make sense? So discovery five, you must stop the habit of procrastinating and instead build a winning habit. You have to stop this. You have to. You can't build a business the way you want by procrastinating. You can't. If you understand this number one concept, you will always, always take action. So look, the brain is like a muscle. It is. You, and you're used to lifting the old you. Do you know the old habits, the old beliefs, the old thoughts about money and action and results and everything else that's flowing through your head from the past, right? But the truth is, neuroscience and neuroplasticity, which is a study inside neuroscience, shows us a different way. It does. Ne neuroplasticity provides us with a brain that can adapt not only to changes inflicted by damage, but allows adaptation to any or new experience that we may encounter. Guess what? Yes, your brain wants to change. You want to adapt. It wants to get better. Because the old saying is what? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. But the truth is, it's not True. Science shows it. You can teach an old dog new tricks and you can teach yourself a different way to live because it takes away your excuses that you cannot change. It does or get the results that you want in your business because it takes all those excuses away because neuroscience says you can. <laughs> get it? Okay. So are we on the same page so far? Is this making sense, right? Why you've been doing what you've doing inside your business? Why you've been holding yourself back? Why we've not been getting the results that you need together? That's the point. So we want to get those results together. So we're making sense so far, right? Good. So discovery six, being who you were won't get what you want. Think about that. Being who you were won't get what you want. It won't. And this talks about a different area, but this is something I really specialize in and famous for is this concept. States, right? We all have different states or different versions of yous. you. The old you with the old view of the world, perspectives, beliefs, attitudes, self-talk, values, right? That's a certain movie that's playing in your head. That is an old you, but that's not the new you. The new you has glimpses of brilliance, excitement, passion, confidence, right? You know what it's like when you get a new idea and it's just the world is bright, right? But those are two different versions of you. We also have peak states and also egos and negative states. I put an example there. The boxer could also be the middle picture, which is the entrepreneur, which could also be the person on stage. They could all be the same person, but... Again, they're alter egos, different states. So, well, the thing is, those two different versions of you di directly affect everything that happens in your life. It does. And Einstein said it best. We get boxed in by the boundary condition of our thinking. We get stuck in the cave. We get stuck in the past. We get stuck 
going to the same way to work or eating the same foods. Well, we get stuck in a certain way to see the world, behaviors, the past, the future, money, expectations, this course, results, your family, right? All of these things, we can get stuck. And the challenge becomes is we get boxed in by this. So does that make sense, first of all? You know? So the truth is here, you have two choices. You have two choices of who you're going to be. You really do. You can be the old you forever if you chose to, right? You can make excuses. You can justify why you, where you are where you are. You can be in fear, hesitation, procrastination, doubt, overwhelm, scarcity, just, just constantly looking at the bank account going down. And that's how you can live life. Why? Because most people do. Do you think those people will ever get freedom? Probably not, right? Probably not. Or you can be the new you. The new you, full of confidence, drive, passion, excitement, um, creativity, and that unshakable belief that you can get this done. Unshakable belief that you deserve freedom. This is the new you. So here's someone else who created an amazing life for himself. This is a guy called John Heffron. He's the winner of NBC's Last Comic Standing client and friend of mine and what was happening he was actually doing his own pilot and he brought me in because well he wanted to make sure he didn't get in his own way and guess what he came on the day of the shoot and he was calm confident and he also uses his techniques every time he walks out on stage and it's changed his mental state a hundred percent if you have one big day or everyday stuff and he's your guy and again these are high-level people that are using all of the systems and tools that I'm trying to show you piece by piece. I can't give you them all today. It's, it's pretty impossible. But I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter what level of the game at. It doesn't matter what stage of your business do, you're doing. Again, it's the same concepts. So, remember this? Yeah, we're going to get into this now. These are your performance keys to win. Okay? So, We've got to build your brain's foundation. We have to. It's like a house. I could give you all the advanced techniques and tools, but the truth is, if we don't have that baseline covered, it, it, you've not got the solid foundation. And that's what you've got to have. And also changing the software. You have to learn how to program your own brain, your own unconscious mind, your own software. And you have to have access to wisdom. You do. You need it direct, you need it now, and this is going to help you, well, get the most cutting-edge course um, systems and courses and tools and techniques, but you just need to be able to have access to them whenever you need them, right? And you've got to have social support. You need a powerful mindset collective of people that, you know, are going to hold you to a very high standard. That's what we want, okay? You add those four things into any business, it can go through the roof. It can exponentially get results. I know because I've spent 17 years doing this. So crew, there we go. The end of episode two, four, five. I thought I'd share some stuff with you. Hopefully you learned some stuff and hopefully you're ready to do something for yourself. You know, because if you are, then... Um, awesome <laughs> hit those show notes up and let's uh, connect and let's connect either through the facebook incubator group on instagram maybe you can find me on linkedin and um, hit me up through email or click one of the links and let's have a chat but all i care about like i said at the start of the show is you kicking ass that is it. That is it. That's all I want for you. I want to make sure that you don't get hurt by other people. I want to make sure that you get the best tools possible so you can blow your business up and you can create a ripple across the world. That's all I care about. So if that resonates with you, you know where to find me. I'll see if I'm going to do another one on Friday. If I get a chance, I'm going to put a 10 minute tune up out because, um, hey, I like it, you know, and been getting some great feedback. So I just want to keep these going for you. So you have an amazing week. And um, until we speak again, one more thing. <laughs> Why don't you smile for me?